Yeah, that was from the beginning my main focus. Um, try to lead the team back into Super 15. Uh, for me to leave, not going to play into Super 15 next year, I'm going to be very angry and I'm going to be very disappointed that I'm, that I'm leaving. And I'm a guy that believes I have to do the job and then when I leave I'm happy. So if we win on Saturday, I'm also going to be very sad. I'm already very emotional. Um, but then I know I can go with a, a clear heart and say, yes, we're back into to Super 15, and you never know. Um, a year or two from now, I might be back and, and be where my heart is and where I really enjoy playing. I mean, I've been playing here at the Lions for eight years. Um, I don't make it a, a, like a, a chaim. I don't know if it's in English, but that I really enjoy it here, yeah, and, and the Lions is my heart, and for me it's... It's, it's a massive thing leaving, but yeah, at that stage it was the right decision for me. Um, so after we win on Saturday, I'm going to be very happy and it's going to be a, it's going to be a lucky feeling that I know the guys. Um, because this whole year we worked really, really hard towards these two games. Um, we over the, the, one, the first hurdle, uh, there's one more hurdle left. And, and if we go over that uh, as, victor, as victors, I'm going to be very happy and happy and sad. It's going to be mixed feelings for me. To be honest, um, when Bali said to us this week at Scrum, um, back in 1995 when they won the World Cup, the players, they didn't know the significance of the game. But still today, people people talk about that game. I think in 20 years' time, I joked earlier, um, when I'm on the farm and I had a lack of boopy from all the brandy I was drinking, um, I'm going to think back what special group this was, what this group went through to get back into Super 15, and, and that means a lot about it. This team, this team is standing for each other, and and we know as a team nobody can win us. Um, so that's why I think that's our main success. Of yeah. if it goes for them in the game, I think it can be a, a motivation. If if I think if it goes against them, the result halfway through the match, it can be a, a, a question that you know our coach has jumped the ship. Uh, maybe you know all is done and lost for us. Uh, it's that's a difficult one. I, I, I just think of my players, I think if the relationship I've got to them, if I told them today that I'm leaving regardless of the result, I don't think I would have had a very positive group because I think they would have they would have wanted me to back them and, and to stick with them. So I th- that, that's just how I, I know the Lions guys, you know. I don't know how they feel about it, if they're going to see it as motivation or as a, you know, as not as, not, as a demotivation factor. I don't think we really... Uh going to change a lot. Um, I think we just want to limit our mistakes. Um, all the points except for that cross kick, um, that, that wing score, came from our mistakes. So I think we just want to limit our mistakes and yeah, I think what's important is focus on what we want to do. I think we have we have uh, trained really hard on what we want to do and just go out and execute that. Yeah, Elton is a special player. Um, it's diff- I can't go and say, yeah, in Cape Town, they didn't do this and that. But I think we know how to handle Elton, and, and Elton is actually a great team, a team guy. Um, in the mornings, he gets here with a big smile, so it really looks to me like he's enjoying it here, and he enjoyed the style of rugby we're playing. I mean, um, rugby is all about confidence. Um, as soon as he kicked that first kick um, on Saturday, I just knew Elton is back. Um, I think that's a huge part of his game. If you take that away from him, his confidence is a little bit down. So we entrust him to, to do our place kicking, and, and on Saturday he was brilliant. Um, he actually got very good de- distance down there. So, yeah, I can actually go a little bit further, and, and hopefully he'll get us that three points as well. Yeah, firstly, it's going to make my job difficult to get the calls through to the guys. <laughs> so, But... For us as players, it's amazing. I mean, we, we've been through a tough year. Um, no, you did not about that. It's been tough. Um, but for us as players, to get a full crowd means something. It means we did something right. At the beginning of the year, we said we want to uh, play a brand of rugby that, that, that the fans enjoy. I mean, this is a, a brilliant testimony of the fans are enjoying how we play. Um, there is... 66 or 62,000 line supporters out there and, and hopefully uh, when we get back into into um, Super 15 
like we can uh, fill in the spot more because <laughs> that's the home of rugby and to play in, in front of I was lucky to play in front of a, a full capacity Ellis Park. Yes, it just gives you that a little bit extra motivation.